am here at the Mara River here in the Maasai Mara National Reserve in Kenya. Literally in this river, there are hundreds of crocodiles and hippos. It's a very, very dangerous river. I'd love to get closer, but I probably would not make it out in one piece. Um, this is actually where the wildebeest cross, and it's wonderful, this river, to keep for our ecosystem. And so it plays an important role in the Great Migration. Over 1.5 million wildebeest actually enter the Mara system here, and waiting them are huge crocodiles. The Mara River is home to some of the largest crocodiles that can get over 20 feet. Haven't seen any of those yet. Hope so. Fingers crossed. If you couldn't tell already, I am on cloud nine, river full of Nile crocodiles. I've never seen them in the wild before, and even like with hippos, and they have this like, mutual understanding, of course, because hippos have priority. They can literally chop a crocodile just whoosh, with one bite. I guess that's kind of a bad bite. One more time, ready? Whoosh, like that. <laughs> What I didn't realize, because I was so focused on the crocodiles and the hippos, take a look at how, just look at the land. This is actually a major crossing. Take a look, it's all run down. This is where the wildebeest and zebra cross during the Great Migration. Of course, they're not here, they're in Tanzania, but it's still great to be here, and, um, whew. <laughs> Okay, right over there, one of my favorite African mammals, the hippo. In the water, I'm just, it, it, just a very, very large pot. There's a really big one, you can tell it's a male. We have a couple babies. Let me tell you, that is some dangerous territory. Okay, over there, we have a lone bull African elephant. They're solitary. It looks like he's missing one of his tusks. He's actually kind of resting his trunk down. He's been drinking for us. Of course, this is the Mara River. This place is insane. We have an elephant over here, giraffes all the way over there, a buffalo over there, hyenas right here. I'm literally surrounded by animals. I can't even describe this place. This video probably doesn't even do this place justice. Um, just an incredible moment, probably one of the best moments of my life. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I cannot stop smiling. I, I literally, a hyena, and I can't talk, really. A hyena just passed our vehicle, huge stomach. We're gonna go over to a kill. Something's dead. Don't mean to be, you know, happy about that, but that means we're gonna get a great, great opportunity to look at some predators. Woo! Okay, over there, we are looking at an amazing thing. I've never seen this before, a hippo carcass. We have hyenas, several species of vultures. These are the scavengers. These animals keep Africa clean. You know, these animals are often feared, but people don't realize how good they are for our environment. They pick it up. Literally without hyenas or vultures, the Serengeti and the Mar ecosystem would be completely gone. There'd be carcasses and diseases everywhere. Okay, look how thick that hippo skin is, at least an inch. It's a little tough, kind of like some jerky, but they've come completely devoured this carcass. We've been told by the driver that, you know, this animal probably died a couple days ago. It's unknown how the hippo died because they really have no natural predators, maybe old age, but one thing's for sure, these animals have cleaned it up. <laughs> So as we were like watching all this action over here, right on the other side, we had lions emerge from the bush. Looks like we have a lioness and a very young male. You can tell he's kind of starting to get his mane. And I'm guessing they've already feasted on this hippo carcass. And this place is just alive. I've never been anywhere in my life where you have animals surrounded like by you, like 365 degrees, or actually 360 degrees. <laughs> See, I'm just so excited, I'm screwed up my words. <laughs> We found out they sleep about 20 hours a day. So right now they're uh, currently sleeping, probably gonna get ready to hunt. They usually hunt at night. Oh my gosh, incredible. It's another day in Africa. <laughs> Welcome to the trials and tribulations on trying to find the most elusive animal in Africa, Chewy. That's how they say leopard in Swahili. Anyway, we're trying to find Chewy, a leopard. So anyway, we'll keep you updated on this adventure. We only have a few more hours on the Mara. We're determined to see Chewy. Woo! Welcome to Smelly Crossing. We are literally sitting in the middle of Smelly Crossing. Still no leopard. The sun is about to set on Kenya's Maasai Mara National Reserve. We did not see a leopard, but I'm not giving up hope, although I hope I don't see one in my tent tonight. We still have one kind of day in the Mara, kind of half day. We're gonna take a balloon ride and hopefully we'll be able to see something. Uh, anyway, but we had a fantastic day. Saw a lot of animals, completed some checklists off our big five, including the lion and the black rhinoceros, which is just oh, phenomenal. Anyway, wish us luck tomorrow.